Drink up. the yellow brick road. Just like childbirth. You barely remember the misery. The people I need keep going mad. Am I cursed? Or is everybody generally going mad? Well, if it isn't Sally Boyle. Himself is upstairs, tinkering. When will he be? It's been weeks now. It's a device you left behind. Apparently, it's quite clever and complex. I just came to buy some chemicals. Over my cold, dead body. Fiona. It's not just borrowing my man while you were here. I could have got over that. It's the ambitions you put into him. Fiona, I'm sorry. He wants to be more than a village chemist. How's that, I says? Will you go to London to study to be a doctor? Will you take over Hayworth Labs? She still wouldn't take you back, I says. But you've sold him the stars. And now he can't barely see where he's going. Maybe he liked me because I thought he could be more. Do you ever think of that? Get out of here. Get out, you witch. And don't let the door hit you in the arse on the way out. Well, she's mellowed. 
Fiona said Stuart's been working on my old pituitary extractor. Maybe... Maybe I can get it back from him later, when she's not in the shop. Wait. Harry Cavendish. He still works for the labs, doesn't he? And he owes me a favour. I'll drop by his house. I've got to find something to eat. Harry? It's Sally. Uh, Sally Boyle. Just a moment. Just a moment, damn it. I can't get to the door as fast as I used to. Sally Boyle. Well, I haven't seen you in a dog's age. What... what happened to your... eyes? Oh, this little thing. A doctor Hughes miscalculated the brominating reaction and it blew up in my face. Then he convinced Dr. Verloc it was my fault. So I got the sack. That weasel. Oh, you don't have to pretend you're interested in the tedious old lab. How's the glamorous life of an experimental chemist? It's a bit blocked at the moment. Can't get mercury amalgam. Did you know they vent gallons of it onto rat home? Oh, well, you wouldn't. You've moved on to greener pastures. I'm sorry. I thought Anton knew what he was doing. Oh, I don't blame you for leaving us all behind. When love fades, you have to move on. Well, I'm sure you'll figure out where to find some amalgam. Maybe I will. But someone's got to prove it was Dr. Hughes's fault you lost your eyes. You know you're right. He could hurt someone else. Is there... any evidence that it was his fault? You know, now that you mention it, his lab notes. He keeps them in his doctor bag. I bet they're all the evidence I need. Oh, you know what? I bet they'd also tell me how to extract the amalgam you need out of the stuff the lab is piping onto Rat Home. I'll get you his lab notes. Here's where he lives. Come back and I'll tell you where to find the pump outlet. Don't go anywhere. Wouldn't dream of it. You can't say Dr. Hughes doesn't have a keen sense of style. I'd better be particularly careful in there. If he knows I'm there, it will get nasty fast. You're a credit to us all!
have. You don't belong here, do you? You've got... Don't struggle! This must be the bad Harry wanted. Need to be able to breathe, some source of oxygen, and soundproofing in case she starts crying. I bet Lionel could make something like that. I can't believe people fast on purpose. Harry? It's Sally! Uh, Sally Boyle! Just a moment. Just a moment, damn it. I can't get to the door as fast as I used to. Did you get Dr. Hughes's bag? I've got it. Aren't you brillo? Well, here's the formula you'll need. You can get to Rat Home via the maintenance tunnels. There's a code at the door. It's 1649. I really am sorry about the accident. I thought Anton had a handle on things. Well, now we know. Cheerio! Anton, 
Morsby. I'll need a few things before I go. I can get there from any hatch, now that I've got the code. I hope these boobs were amazing looking. Oh, my nose needs a bath. Lovely weather.
I half expect to see some horribly mutated Cheshire cat watching me from one of these trees. Where do I get the key card to this? Feet abide and not in her house. I was sure Antoine had another lab, but he always said it was my imagination. A lab partner knows. Please stand by for decontamination. You have been decontaminated. Please proceed into the lab.
Here. I bet whoever left it was wearing a dress without pockets. <laughs> I suppose I just shove my canteen in there and hope it doesn't burn my hand off. Full canteen. I hope Harry's right about getting the mercury out. My head's about to split open. I've got to drink something. I can come back from any other hatch without anyone ruining my clothes. Home, James. I don't actually like long walks. Really, very, very good. I hope all of you had a fantastic time. I trust you all brought cake because I did promise cake and I hate it. I did promise cake and I hate it.
Right. Next ingredient, pituitary extract. Stuart Adams was tinkering with my old extractor, wasn't he? Maybe I can buy it back from him. Or borrow it. Thank you all for